Stuck to my ass. Nope. That's just how my day's going today, so. Hey Cheekies, welcome back to my channel. So good to see you guys back. How you doing? What's good? What's new? Tell me all about it. Spill the tea, the beans, whatever you prefer. In today's video, we're going to be doing another makeup tutorial, but this time we're going to make it poppin'. She's going to be poppin', she's going to be colorful, bright. We love a good pop of color. No. Yeah, I haven't really popped some uh, popping colors on me in it's been a minute. I did like an Instagram poll a little while back and actually it was like 50-50 of like between neutral and colorful, but uh, okay, today I chose colorful because uh, we're feeling, feeling spicy, I'm feeling like popping a little today. I need that boost you know so while i was looking for inspiration for the colors i kind of got something in the mail because you know shopaholic right here yeah so um i just got these nike slides and i love them these are like my two favorite colors like ever like, blue and green black I guess vibes I decided I kind of want to do something along those lines let's go a little brazy a little crazy brazy we're not going anywhere ain't nobody to impress other than myself because I actually am very interested to see if I can pull this off <laughs> so I guess we'll find out together please if you're listening don't make me look like a fool in front of YouTube. So for today's colorful look, we're gonna be using a palette by Daisy Marquez with BH Cosmetics. I haven't really gotten into all the colorful colors yet. So this is what it looks like. It's really pretty, really colorful, poppin, you know what I'm saying? And what I love about it is like, it has this mirror that you just kind of pop it in or out it's like really convenient for traveling and all the goods you know so we're using her today she better do us some justice because we're a little rough this quarantine got a girl stressed i've been breaking out a little bit got a little pimple here another one there you know how it is so uh she's gonna distract her purpose today is to pop so bright that she distracts people from my little pimps around here around the corner so we're just gonna hop right in let's get to it without further ado time to pop okay so i'm gonna do like my skincare and such so first what i'm gonna do is since i don't have like one of those little like cotton pad things i'm just gonna use a cotton ball not in bougie, whatever. And my um, Garnier, my cellar water. This is like meant to like unclog like your pores, just kind of get off all the extra dirt and junk that you have on your skin. I just took a shower a little bit ago, washed my face, so hope I don't have too much because then that would mean that uh, I suck at washing my face, so. Let's see, shall we? I'm always surprised when I look at this thing. I always kind of can't believe that all that crap was stuck on my face and in my pores. Bless that I have pretty decent skin. It's, you know, it's never really given me too much trouble. Until right now, I, you know, had my, uh, my time of the month, if you know what I'm saying. So, she broke out a little bit, but um, she's getting back. She's bouncing back to it. Getting back to the regular, same old routine. Okay, so it's a little bit, nothing crazy. I haven't really worn makeup 
these past few days since my last get ready with me so that's what I was hoping for I get pretty oily so whenever I put on foundation I like to go matte because my skin gets super shiny super oily especially when I sweat and I sweat a lot like I'm a very sweaty person so we're gonna be using this different oil control moisturizer it also has SPF 30 so that's cool if you want you could just wear this for a natural glowy look out on your day the one thing I do have to say about this is do not get it near your eyes like I beg you do not get it near your eyes or you're gonna go like blind for a little bit it really burns hurts don't cry when you wear this or don't sweat which which kind of defeats the purpose because if this is SPF you're supposed to wear it out in the sun and when you're in the sun you sweat so I'm just gonna use it anyway just like one little little pump little pump yeah that's a wrapper right little pump yeah get on in there make mama proud my neck like i said in my previous video she's important literally just said not to get it near my eyes and what do i do rub it near my eyes it's all good whatever i'll suffer a little bit for the sake of this video i'm gonna use my mario badescu facial spray it's lavender aloe chamomile it smells pretty good it smells like my grandma I like it, okay? Mm. It's never too much. Now we just fan her in. Okay, that was not a moment. Why, why would I think that that's a moment? Okay, okay Jazz, I'm cool. <laughs> Alrighty. So, since for today's um, look, we're gonna be real poppin', real out there. We're trying to go all out, am I right? We're trying to pop. We might as well throw on some foundation. I haven't worn foundation in a really long time. I don't even know if I have one that matches my skin tone right now, but we're gonna find something, we'll make it work. Since I am wearing foundation, I already put on some moisturizer, but just so it doesn't really get into my skin and penetrate my skin, I'm gonna put on a primer. This is, I don't know, my mom, like at our offices, like some people come in selling products sometimes. So I guess she bought this one from someone. I don't know the brand, but it's a mineral primer. I don't know if it's bougie. I don't think it is, but we're gonna use her. So just one little pump. Why do I keep saying little pump? He's not in this video. Like, stop. Put some right there on my forehead because you got a big forehead. Some right there on my cheeks, on my nose, my chin, my chinny chin chin. And now we, we rub. We blend. When you rub it in, oh my gosh, it feels so soft. Like my skin feels like heaven like i don't want to stop touching my skin i feel like the furry wall if you watch that movie you know what i'm talking about touch the furry wall stay with me be calm mm. be calm just stroke the furry wall with the furry mm. wall don't do drugs kids don't do that i don't so don't do it the foundation we're gonna try today i think it's the closest thing that matches my skin right now it's the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made. It's an L30. I kind of just pump it on the back of my hand. Maybe like two pumps. And now we're gonna take this and a beauty blender and we're just gonna go on in. Let's get to it. So we're gonna go in with one more pump. Just one more, just one. Oh 
we're all blended out we blended it down our neck because i think we all can agree that it's a huge pet peeve when uh, foundation just doesn't match your neck like honey it ain't that hard just blend it bring it down a little bit we're gonna do a little bit of concealing nothing crazy wet and wild photo focus concealer so yeah i'll be right back Okay, now that our concealer is blended in, we're gonna go in with some powder and set it all together, all right? So, BRB, baby. Okay, all the powder is blended in. I'm gonna take a little bit of setting spray. Now we're gonna get into some brows, so I'll do them off camera and I'll be right back. And I'm back. I did my brows off camera, snatched over here, and then this one is just mm, the uglier sister, but we're gonna forget about her. I'm gonna go in with my Hula bronzer and bronze my face a little bit. Let's do that. Be right back. Now, I'm gonna do some blush. I'm gonna go in with my Kylie blush in the color Hopeless Romantic. Let's go for it. It's kind of red, but we're gonna look a little sun kissed and blush, you know, so it's a cute moment. So it looks pretty intense right now, I'm aware, so we're going to blend, blend it all together, blend it in. So now, the part we've all been waiting for, the eyes. So first I'm going to prime my lids, even though I kind of already put concealer and powder and stuff, we're going to prime her even more, so that's what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to go in with my little Ben Nye cream foundation. I'm gonna get a little little flat round brush and pat it right onto the lid. Okay. Now we're gonna set it with some powder for today since we are going to be using the Daisy Marquez palette. We're gonna go in with color right here. It's called Naked. So I'm going to take that on a round packer brush, pigmented, so that's good. Okay, that's blended enough for me, for my liking. So now what I'm going to do is start my eyeshadow. I'll do highlighting after because I just want to get into it. I just want to do my eyes. That's what we're all waiting for, isn't it? I mean, why else are we here? Let me, let me get to that. Alrighty, so I'm gonna grab a regular tapered brush to blend in the creases. I'm gonna grab the color Dulce, which is this one right here. Not too much fallout, it's not too crazy, it's doable. 
You can handle it, honey. Let's get to blending. Now, I kind of want to go in with something a little, a little different. So now, let's get a little fun with it. I'm going to take this angled tapered brush and actually go in with my Jaclyn Hill palette because the greens and blues that are in the Daisy Marquez palette, they're mostly glittery and the one that is not is it's like a teal blue, so we'll use her later. So I'm gonna go in with this color, Jada. I'm gonna go in with Jada for all my Jadas out there. How are you, girl? I hope you're doing good. Don't be afraid to get a little bit messy because we're gonna clean her up later and we're gonna blend it all in together, so it's okay. It's gotta get ugly before it gets pretty. Okay, so now that we did our crease, we're gonna cut the crease just at the eyelid. I'll be right back. Okay, now we cut our crease. We are ready to dive in with some fun glitter colors. So one that's 100% calling my attention, which is my favorite. I'm sure you guys can guess. It's this one, Slime. So pretty, super glittery. It's gorgeous, so I want to go in with that one. I also love Dream. Dream is this one right here. It's stunning. It's like a teal turquoise like tiffany blue i have to use it it's perfect like comparing those are like the two colors that are most similar to my muse so we're gonna go in with those let's see how this goes positive thoughts positive vibes makeup gods are with us today hopefully I'm like loving this like I'm living my fantasy my dream all of my favorite vibes are just like here to play I'm very proud very proud so far so let's continue let's see where this leads <laughs> okay so I'm feeling a little bit crazy so I think I'm gonna go in, ooh, I'm between Bougie, which is this one right here, and Daisy. Why not both? We're gonna just go with both, so if it doesn't come out good, I mean, hey, don't, don't be mad at me. I was just trying to test out more colors for you guys to see and enjoy. Why not, right? We're not going nowhere. Let's do it.
Okay, so it's definitely a look. Not for the faint of heart. Not for basic beaches. I like it. <laughs> I kind of don't want to do a wing. I kind of just want to let the eyeshadow have like its own moment. So I think I'm just going to put on some mascara and just wear the heck out of this. But first, I'm going to put some highlighter. So, uh, un momento. Be right back, baby. So we're going to use my Nicole Guerrero palette because we're being extra, so we might as well go all the way, you know? Okay guys, so now for the final eye step, we're gonna put on some mascara and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I actually decided not to put on fake lashes because I just felt like it would take away from this look, honestly. I want it to be like all about the eyeshadow, like not get distracted by the lash. This is it. This is the look. Now I'm gonna do some lips and I will be right back. So I'm gonna line my lips with Malibu from Kylie Cosmetics. So let's do it. Have to sharpen her first because she's dull. So for this look, I think that a nude lip would probably be best and with the color Moon from Kylie, let's do that. So that was a little darker than I wanted to go. <laughs> so I'm going to go over it with some gloss and hopefully that uh, lightens up the mood. So I'm going to go in with some Kylie gloss. It's in the shade literally. Literally, I hope that this saves my look. So... Okay guys, so this is the final look. I'm about to go change and get myself a little fixed up and I'll be right back to show you guys the final look. Okay, cheekies, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm obsessed with how this turned out. I think this is so fun, so cool. Like, I probably wouldn't wear it on a normal day. It's not a convenient look, but it's really cool, really fun. If you want to go out once quarantine is over, you want to be a little extra, this is perfect for you. I love it. It's right up my alley straight up there and I'm digging it. It's a vibe. 
not much else to say about it but that but yeah let me know what you guys think if you guys do recreate this look make sure to tag me i want to see what you guys did give me new ideas of what other looks you want to see what colors let's do it i'm doing this for you guys so i want to know your opinions so yeah that's the end of today's video if you enjoyed it if you like look or you like me then please comment like subscribe that would help me a lot and yeah uh we're done it's over with so i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i will see you guys on the next video